CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. They have served their country, and you would think that they would go to the head of the line. But military veterans in British Columbia who are trying to quit smoking and need help are instead getting the runaround from the province. Anybody in B.C., as you may know, who wants to quit smoking can get immediate help, including drug coverage. Anyone, that is, unless you're under federal jurisdiction. If you are, then helping you quit becomes Ottawa's problem. CTV's Joe Perkins has been investigating this. He joins us now with uh, the story. Joe. Yeah, Hudson, if you live in B.C. and smoke, then the province will help you quit. They've said it many times before. As of last year, the government has even helped with the cost of quitting, but that help hasn't always been for everyone. If you're looking for Jason Knoll, you'll find him operating the CTV Vancouver Island Live Eye truck. He'll be in his Toronto Maple Leafs hat, and more often than he would like, he'll be smoking a cigarette. He's been lighting up for almost a quarter century. The habit reached its worst when he was overseas serving his country with the United Nations Protection Force. The majority of us did, or chewed tobacco, or like myself, combined both of them occasionally. That was 19 years ago, and for the last two years, he's wanted to quit. He's even seen a hypnotist, but it didn't work. Then last year, the province announced its smoking cessation program, offering British Columbians immediate support by helping with the cost of quitting. Noel wanted in. Do you understand that as a BC resident, I'm entitled to this, so I would like to at least follow that avenue if at all possible. That's what he told his doctor and the prescription was signed but when he went to pick up his medication... They punched it into the computer and came up and goes, oh no, we can't cover him, he's military. And because of that he was denied, told he had to go through Veterans Affairs Canada. I can't believe it. It's so... It, it, I mean... It's so not, oh man. Alex Moore served Canada for six years and has helped his own son quit smoking. He knows it can be an uphill battle. You know, you need help. You need some help. That veteran needs a little help. And why he doesn't get it, I do not know. It was the first time I've ever felt that my experience and my uh, service has actually hurt me as a citizen. Especially when he was trying to kick a habit, the same habit the Ministry of Health wants to kick out of the province. Nicotine addiction is a very serious addiction. It takes people upwards of five, six or seven serious quit attempts before they, they, before they are successful to quit smoking. But never has an attempt to take part in the province-wide anti-smoking program been so unsuccessful. Such a failure that the province says it will never happen again. Well, I was terribly disappointed to hear what happened uh, to this veteran and it's not going to continue. It's why the minister says he wants Jason Knoll to be the last veteran denied access to the program. I want this fixed within a matter of days. The change will open the door to immediate smoking cessation aids to veterans in the province. As for Knoll, he still hopes to quit. Uh, I'm not confident in anything really anymore, but uh, I hope I do. The province does too. The health minister says the ministry will be reaching out to Public Affairs Canada to make whatever changes need to be made. Veterans Affairs says in certain circumstances it will offer smoking cessation help. The problem Noel says is dealing with the Public Affairs takes time, or Veterans Affairs I should say. He's twice had to go uh, there to get help for post-traumatic syndrome and he says there's endless paperwork. Compare that with the province's program where you can get immediate help on the same day. Uh, the good news though, Hudson, the program is changing for veterans and uh, we will follow up to see if that actually does take place uh, in the next couple of days. Well, it's uh, good to get some results. Uh, you know, I don't think anyone would argue with the matter that it's a jurisdictional thing, but it's not the vet's issue. Let the, the bureaucracy handle who and, gets and billed for it. They just want help, and uh, it looks like they're going to get it now. All right. Well done, Joe. Thank you.